My name is Ian Williams, owner of Deadstock Coffee. We're located 408 Northwest Coos Street on the, in between uh, 4th and 5th Street in downtown Portland. I created Deadstock Coffee to be a place where I could just hang out with all my sneaker homies. Um, everybody knows that Portland is the sneaker capital of the world. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and claim that. Portland is where, where, the, where the sneaker market, where, the, where all the product creation, everything like that in the world happens. Nike's here, Adidas America, Under Armour's moving here, a whole bunch of other companies, Keen, and all the companies that support them. But I just wanted a place where the people who love shoes could go and just hang out, because um, we just have a different market. Um, we don't have as much people who buy product as people who just know, much, know a whole bunch about product. I really actually wanted to open up a coffee shop, not because so much that I love coffee, but I understand the, the power that a coffee shop has uh, in a community. And and this is really where the sneaker market, or the sneaker community lives in Portland, is in downtown Old Town, Chinatown. Um, because uh, we have, you know, Compound, which is literally half a block from where we're standing right now, Upper Playground, which does apparel and things like that in the same culture right there across the street. The only footwear design school in the world is right around the corner. Um, Index, a consignment shop, is about a block and a half away. So I just wanted to be in the heart of all of that. You know, if, if that's my goal is to be a place where people who love shoes and who love this community could go to hang out, why not be exactly where it is? So I'm literally on the walk from Compound to Index, and that was my plan. I've been a sneakerhead for uh, a super long time. Uh, from Newport News, Virginia, uh, which is about 10 minutes away from Allen Iverson, mm -hmm. uh, where he grew up. I've been a, a fan of shoes uh, ever since then. So my favorite shoe is the Reebok Question, the first Iverson shoe. Um, and, uh, you know, I went to a little private high school out, out in uh, Hillsboro when we moved out here. Um, and everybody out there, you know, we all had to wear a uniform and that was, sneakers were just the way that I got to express myself. After I graduated high school, uh, I loved shoes and uh, stuff like that, but I was working all these little odd jobs and I realized that the money I was making, I was trying to buy shoes. Um, and I was like, man, why not just work for like a shoe company somewhere? So I ended up, uh, landed a job at the employee store, got let go after the holiday season was over. Um, which was perfectly fine because then that was, you know, that gave me some fire to want to be back in there. Took a temp job at IHM where we actually make the airbags, um, which is next door to the employee store. Uh, and then from there realized that I wasn't being seen a lot. So then I uh, decided it was time for me to take a janitor job on campus. Uh, I knew I'd be seen every single day. Um, I was a janitor for about three years, just kind of wheels my way into footwear through many different means. And, here I am today. Did uh, you know I was in footwear for about five years and just decided it was time for something new. Time to do something a little bit more community related. I originally just wanted to create a cool place uh, where people would kind of just go and hang out and I was going to let somebody else run the coffee part. Um, but what I realized that I needed to at least understand the coffee part. So I took a couple of classes just trying to understand it from a business standpoint and just in case whoever was running it, you know, called in sick or whatever and, uh, and realized that um, I actually really enjoyed making coffee. Um, uh, at Nike, I made a product and it was one, uh, you know, we had one consumer and then you just make them times a million. Um, here, I have one consumer and I make it and it's directly for you. Same thing as like Nike ID or Subway or whatever where it's customization. You get to create or you get to pick whatever you want. Um, so it was, it was way cooler to have the, you know, me actually handing the, the item over to the customer instead of, you know, sitting behind the desk all day. Don't get me wrong, making footwear is awesome. Opened up a lot of doors for me. I loved what I did, but it was just time for me to do something that was more uh, based around the people who, who were a part of the reason why I love making shoes. So, squad goals, you know, to make the coffee snob and the sneaker nerd become homies over love of all things premium, because really we're all the same people, we're all nerds, let's be honest. Uh, you can reach us at uh, that'sotcoffee.com, go in there, peep our blog and whatnot, pick up some stuff, whatever. Uh, come through the shop or uh, Instagram uh, at desktop coffee. Uh, same thing on Snapchat at desktop coffee and then Twitter at desktop PDX.